would like to introduce our test speaker, Namrita Anchan, hashtag modern leadership. Hashtag modern leadership, Namrita Anchan. Thank you so much, Danny. Good evening, one and all present here, all the wonderful Toastmasters. Don't adapt to the energy in the room. Influence the energy in the room. The topic of my speech might have definitely triggered some thoughts about what I'm going to speak about today. Yes, leadership indeed, but in today's world, which I think has changed immensely in the last few decades. The kind of leadership that I was taught in school um, and while I was growing up is leaps and bounds different from, from what we see today, which means I had to relearn and adapt when it was my turn. Now, there are two things that is happening here. And that's what I have observed. Some are adapting pretty quickly and moving ahead with the trend, but there are few who are a bit skeptical about the new leadership. Friends, if I want to go on talking about the technical terms of leadership, like how we have various types styles of leadership, such as transformational, democratic, autocratic, and how we should be balancing our management by being more either task focused or people focused, how we can delegate, support, coach, and, and direct our teams, focus on directive behavior or supportive behavior, collaborate, co-create, command, or, or communicate. Okay, no, no, no. I don't want to do that today with my speech. Uh -uh. Rather, I want to take this opportunity to share my thoughts about an empathetic leader and why, especially in today's world, and also how leadership has tremendously changed, yet there is the, this, this one thing that still remains the same and, and will so always. Now that I have got your attention and instilled some curiosity as to what that one thing is, which I will come back to soon after I talk about why we should be empathetic leaders in today's strangely highly connected intermingled hashtag world. And to use as an example, I couldn't find anyone better than better other than a recent success leadership story about hashtag Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister of New Zealand. Her response to coronavirus has become a masterclass in crisis leadership. But in all this, what has shown us is that empathy is not weakness. Oh, how happy I was with, with this amazing example that has come up as a strong trait in leadership, because believe me, it is one of the focal point of leadership. For years, we, had this dominance of idea that empathy is a weaker trait, but seldom we realize being empathetic requires way more internal and mental strength than just um, ordering people around. In order to be empathetic, one has to know themselves very well. One has to think from other person's point of view all the time, which requires a lot of mental stimulus. And then considering every single aspect of your life, of the other person's life, along with the job or task in hand, you have to make the decision that will save the day. One thing is, is said that being an empathetic leader is hell not easy, but in today's world where suffering has risen, where climate changes are catastrophic, you know, where, where people have every technology at their disposal, but it's overtaking their lives and their families, where everyone is titled to the 15 minutes of fame and, and where once the nations that dominated the world are struggling to vote in a decent leadership, where lives are unimaginably different from 20 years ago, being empathetic and being an empathetic leader 
in your field is way more significant than ever. Now I can go on talking about being empathetic and why and how, but as I promised, I would be sharing that one thing that still hasn't changed an ounce. That, that one thing that we all have inside us and that one thing that makes every generation unstoppable and strong. That one thing that I believe everyone listening to me today over this Zoom call contest possesses. And I want each one of y'all realizing it every second of your lives and, and making the most of it, especially, especially if you are a leader. And that is the power of influence. Centuries have passed, but this one thing still stands the sands of time. And that is your power to influence people in the correct direction, which is nothing but the powerful energy that you carry within yourself. And this takes me back to how I started my speech, that don't adapt to the energy in the room, influence the energy in the room. And that my friends will always be the crux of every modern leadership. Hashtag influencer. Massive thank you for hearing me out today. Over to you, Madam Contest Chair Danny.